guys, today we're going to talk a little bit more about vertical and horizontal lines, and this is section 5.8. So let's start off by plotting all the points. And one thing I want you to notice is all of these x values are the same. So pay attention to that when we're plotting the points. So we have 1 on the x, negative 5 on the y. So I have 1, and then it's 2, 4, 6, so it's here. Then I have 1, negative 2. I have 1, 0 on the y, so therefore it's on the actual x-axis, and one, four. And you'll notice these all make a straight up and down line, and we play connect the dots. And we draw it all the way through the coordinate plane. That side of the ruler didn't work very well. And this is a vertical line, which means that it goes up and down, okay? Vertical, like a cliff, you drop off the cliff. Okay, so looking at the next one, notice all the y values are the same. So we're at negative four. Oh, well, we always plot the x first, so let me go there first. So we have negative three for the x, and then I'm going down to negative four for the y, and it meets up here. And then I have one, negative four, so that's a positive x, and I'm going down to the negative four for the y, and I have two, negative four, and I have five, two, four, five, negative four, and we notice that all the y values are the same, so this is creating me a nice horizontal. The horizon is what you see when you look across, looking at the sunset, it's on the horizon. So that means that is left to right when we're looking at our horizontal line. Okay, so a vertical line is written in the form of x equals a number, and it happens to be all of the x values. So the equation for this is going to be x equals 1. It crosses the x-axis at 1. So therefore the equation is x equals one. Wrote it in the wrong place. Okay. Where A represents the lines x intercept. Where crosses x axis. Remember, if I add it, you should have it written in your notes. Okay. The horizontal line is written in the form of y equals a because that's where it crosses the y axis. It's the y intercept. It, a is where the line crosses, it represents the line's y intercept. And remember that's where it's where crosses y axis. Y-axis, Y-intercept, X-intercept, X-axis. So the equation for this horizontal line is going to be, notice all the Y values are the same. It's crossing at negative four. So this is Y equals negative four. Okay, <clears throat> let's just now look at a couple of examples and we're just gonna write them. So I'm looking, what is the equation of the line? Oh, remember the line, oh, if the line intersects the X-axis, Okay, it's x equals a. If the line intersects the y-axis, it's y equals a, okay? x-axis, x equals a. y-axis, y equals a number, okay? Well, this is crossing the x-axis, so therefore this is going to be x equals, and now I've got to see where is it crossing? Right here, so that's at one, two, one, two, three, four. So that's at negative four because this is the negative side of the number lines because this is always zero, zero. So these are my negatives. All right, number two. This one is crossing the y-axis. So we know it's gonna be y equals, this one was the x-axis. Where is it crossing? One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the positive value, so this is y equals six. Okay, a few more examples.
Okay, now we're taking and we're shifting. We're no longer given the graph, we're given the equation and we now have to graph it. Well, if it's y equals, that means it's going to be crossing the y axis. So y equals means crosses y axis at negative seven. So therefore I'm gonna be going across here. So I'm gonna have two, four, six, seven. So it's gonna be crossing here. Since it's just y equals, there's no x, okay? No x, so doesn't cross x axis. So for it to not be able to cross the x axis, it has to be a horizontal line. For this line to never cross the x-axis, it has to be a horizontal because if it has any form of a slant, it's eventually going to cross that x-axis. It has to be the horizontal line. All right, next example. Looking at x equals <clears throat> a number. So we've got x equals four. So it's crossing the x-axis at four. No y, so never crosses y axis. And in order for that to happen, it has to go straight up and down. It's got to be this vertical line. And there's my graph. Okay, now let's kind of do some thinking without a graph. All right, what is the slope? of the line y equals five. Okay, well, y equals five kind of looks like this one is just at a different location. So let me think about the slope for this one. I'm thinking about slope. Remember that's rise over run. Well, am I going up or down at all? No, that's zero. Am I running something? Yes. Zero divided by some number is going to be equal to zero. So therefore, whenever, it is y equals a number that is a zero slope, okay? y equals a is always zero slope. y equals a is always a zero slope. Okay, let's look at number 12. This is the x equals, so let's refer to number eight here. Okay, again, slope, rise over run. Well, I'm going up and down all day long, so I, but am I going left or right at all? No, that's a zero in the denominator. Anytime there's a zero in the denominator, this is undefined. So therefore, when it's x equals negative two, that is classified as undefined. And that's always the case. So when it's x equals a number, it is always undefined. The slope is always undefined. All right, jumping down to 14. Which axis is parallel? Which axis is y equals negative one parallel to? Parallel means it never intersects. Never crosses or intersects. So if it's y equals, that means it would be a horizontal line. So it looks like this. Well, which axis goes across? That's the x equals, because if it's y equals negative one, that means it's a horizontal line. horizontal line and the axis that's horizontal is the x axis. I didn't box these other answers. Since I'm adding notes, let me make sure that I box what the actual answer is. Because that's all required. 
Okay. <clears throat> Last thing, we want to know what's the difference between y equals 3 and y equals 3x. Okay, so that means we've got to graph each of these. y equals 3, we'll say this is a, this is b. So we'll make this graph a, this is graph b. So we have y equals 3. Okay, that's crossing the y-axis at 3. So that's a horizontal line. Next, we have y equals 3x. Okay, so that means my slope is 3 over 1. My y-intercept is 0. My slope is up 3 over 1. And I go in the opposite direction, down 3. The left one. And we play connect the dots. Okay, so it wants to know, we have to graph both, we've done that, and then we've got to explain the difference between the two. Well, one thing that I notice is they don't have the same slopes for one thing, okay? So for this one, the slope is zero. This one has a slope of three. This is a horizontal line. This is a diagonal line. Okay, well, those are just things I can jot down real quick, but both of those are comments that I can make. Now, when it says explain, that means we write a sentence. Okay, so we could say y equals three has a slope of zero and is a horizontal line while y equals 3x has a slope of 3 and is, not it, and is a diagonal line. This is your answer. Okay, finish the notes and work on the homework. Have a great day.